Bridgerton is one of those bingeable shows with amazing characters, plot, and cinematography, but it took a lot of hard work from the cast to get where they are today. What are the rules that the cast of Bridgerton has to follow? Is the cast forced to contain their laughter? Stay tuned to find out all the important unanswered questions we need answered. First up, dancing classes were necessary. The show featured many memorable dancing scenes, especially considering that a large portion of the action took place at the balls and dances held to help the debutantes find their ideal partners. The actors had to learn those traditional dances because there was so much dancing. Of course, before they began preparing, the majority of them had no idea how to dance in this manner. Although the dances were classic, the choreographers did add some contemporary touches, because it is obvious that the people of this era were not dancing to Ariana Grande at the time. Phoebe Dinevor, who played Daphne, and Reggae John Page, who played Simon, became very accustomed to one another thanks to the extensive time they spent in dance class. Next up, Reggae Jean Page was forced to attend boxing lessons. Let's talk about Reggae Jean Page's boxing technique. The actor had to put a lot of effort into his form to make it realistic because the style of boxing the Duke used on the show differed greatly from modern boxing. Reggae Jean Page had to learn how to box the traditional way to be both historically accurate and maintain his physical fitness because he exposed a lot of skin on the show. Boxers in England during this era were not required to wear gloves, and they also had to abide by other rules that were very different from those you would find today on boxing channels. It would have been disappointing if the producers had not done adequate research into the history of boxing, as it played a surprising amount of importance in the show's development. After all, they were more interested in making the show as historically accurate as they could than in incorporating elements of contemporary life. Next up, they had to limit their laughter on set. The actors in Bridgerton had to act seriously in many of the scenes. But as we all know, those are also the times when you're most likely to begin laughing. All of us have been there. We blush, skip ahead, or just stare at the floor until the awkwardness goes away and the scene moves on, as all good folks do. With all that said, what would you do if you were the actress portraying the vulgar scene? Well, that was the situation that poor Phoebe Dinevor was tangled in. Her friends and family wanted to watch her star in one of the most popular Netflix series of the year. Like all supportive friends and family, but there were some things that your family and friends just don't need to see. She was holding the remote in her hand to skip those scenes that made people's eyebrows raise for that reason. However, even for these experienced actors, some scenes made it extremely difficult for them to hold back their laughter. In particular, they continued to struggle in the scenes where they had to pretend to be serious, while sitting in makeshift carriages in front of green screens, while crew members shook them and made funny noises like horses. Next up, actors were recorded required to take riding lessons. Not everyone has experienced horseback riding, especially in a competitive setting. In addition to the formal education that 19th century English aristocrats received, the actors had to take horseback riding lessons to accurately portray their characters, who historically would have been experts at riding horses because several scenes were filmed on horseback to describe the Bridgerton era. If you're not familiar with the world of horseback riding, you might not realize how specialized it is and how many different riding styles there are. We cannot ignore health-related issues like falling off the horse or the horse possibly injuring the rider in some way, including the level of anxiety one might experience. In this aristocratic society, men and women would have been expected to ride horses in different ways, both of which are significantly different from the way you ride horses at summer camp. Next up, they could not watch their show. If you were a part of the Bridgerton cast, you must be excited to binge watch the show and see yourself on the big screen. Sadly, this is not the case for the cast of Bridgerton. Like most people, Phoebe Dinevor wanted to share her fame with her family, but she finds herself stuck in the middle of her family and the show itself. Her family wanted to watch her star in one of the most popular Netflix programs of the year like any supportive friend and family, but there are some things that your loved ones just don't need to witness. She was holding the remote in her palm to skip those scenes that made people's eyebrows raise for those spicy scenes. Next up, the entire cast participated through intensive etiquette instruction. After all of these rules, it would only be fair for the directors and producers to enroll the cast in intensive etiquette classes. It was essential that the players participate in thorough etiquette training because this series primarily 
centers on the upper class and takes place in early 19th century England. To prepare for their season in the marriage market and to act accordingly to the culture with so many tight, unwritten standards, Daphne and the other actors would have had to train their entire lives. An intensive crash course lasting six weeks was necessary for the performers to walk, talk, conduct, and think like the characters who would have spent their lives studying these skills and laws. When the cast initially received their schedules for getting ready for filming, they claimed to be taken aback. The course was necessary to improve the manner and style of the actor. After all, it was a century ago. Next up, the cast had to have chemistry in and out of the set. The secret to a spectacular performance by co-stars is chemistry and friendship. While the actors had to create chemistry to their degree of comfort, the early days on set might have been awkward for them. You know that sensation you get when you first meet someone with whom you instantly click. The Bridgerton co-stars were told to interact with one another during production in the same way that their fictional characters would. A few of the cast members talked about their time on set and what it was like to be with old friends while filming. Old as in the old Victorian era? It is much more similar to star-crossed lovers. In any case, the group ultimately formed lasting relationships and had memorable experiences both on and off camera. Next stuff. The cast could not speak a word about the plot. While this rule may seem obvious, it was still made very clear to the cast. No sneak peek into the plot, not even close family or friends. This rule was implemented for the fear of spoilers ruining the whole mystery and magic of a series. But before the show aired and everyone had a chance to see it, the cast had to keep things secret and couldn't tell what would happen. After all, the best part of the Netflix series is the plot twist. Even the biggest fans of the Julia Quinn books won't be able to get exactly what will happen next in this Netflix series because it does vary a few things, both important and little, from the book's plots, even though it is based on a series of books that have been published for years. Next up, the actors have to maintain respect for one another in intimate scenes. Bridgerton has its fair share of intimate scenes carefully choreographed by intimate choreographers. Even with the chemistry between the actors, the steamy scenes would still become extremely awkward. While the scenes would take place, the actors had to maintain respect for each other in every way possible. The cast members have to continue to be considerate of one another's comfort and personal space. In the event of getting close to a co-worker, it would be awkward and in most situations cause you to leave the office. For precisely this reason, co-stars needed to comprehend and express how comfortable they felt during physical scenes while filming. The fact that the actor's comfort is being given such great thought when they are portraying such vulnerable material is promising. Maybe things can get better. Next up, the actors could not take on any other roles. You might notice that most Netflix shows have six or seven seasons when binge-watching them. Therefore, the Bridgerton cast will need to be ready to decline offers for other chances while the musical is in production. It's simply not possible for the actors to be completely engaged in their characters while still rehearsing for another unless they can fit in a role in between filming. Except if they can agree to a character kill-off, which would be a significant adjustment to the program's plot. The cast will need to commit to it as long as Netflix keeps the show on the air. The success of the show thus far makes us doubt that any of the cast members will leave anytime soon. That is a relief because Bridgerton fans are not ready to lose anyone just yet. The Netflix hit series blew up for a reason, and that is the attention to detail. From cast chemistry to etiquette classes, the cast went through it all. Are these rules a little outrageous? Would you follow them if you were a part of the Bridgerton cast? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.